thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. It's time for me to get my bag. And I get it. If you don't care about the sponsor section, at least check out the comments for the discount code KAKA to get $5 off your first purchase for either of the boxes. But Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us new boxes to check out. Let's see what they got for us today. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us free packages for us to check out. For those of you that don't know what they are about, they basically want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through the snack box. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Sakuraku, on the other hand, is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. These gift boxes all have a monthly theme that rotates. For example, Tokyo Treat's theme for April is the Sakura Matsuri Snack Fest box, while Sakura Co's theme is the Night of Sakura. Starting off with the Tokyo Treat box, notice how it's like a dark midnight blue box? Well, it's because cherry blossoms not only can it be enjoyed during the day, but also the nighttime. That's called Yozakura. No, not Mission Yozakura, the anime we're watching right now. But that's basically the midnight blue theme of the April Tokyo Treat Box. Look at all these different desserts. Probably my favorite one is definitely going to be the Kit Kat. There's always a different Kit Kat theme during the boxes, but those are probably not my favorite. There's the Sakura Sweet Tart. The Sakura Waffle Cookies, Sakura Karinto, Sakura basically everything, but basically the Mochi and the Kit Kat, those are my favorite. For the Sakura Co side, similar to Tokyo Treat, you got the midnight darkest color theme to kind of illuminate the Yozakura, enjoying the Sakura blossoms during nighttime. There's these pamphlets as well that kind of gives you a little bit more details on the culture as well as the different snacks and how they're kind of made and sourced. Now, these are all the different treats on the Sakura Co side. They're really nice because they come in like pairs. Like if you enjoy a single, you know, snack, they actually have like doubles of it. My favorite from this one specifically is going to be the Sakura Mochi coming up anytime soon. The Castella Cake is very good too. And then they also always have the traditional like um, set, right? So this month's tableware item is this glass right here called a Sakura glass. It could honestly be good for uh, maybe a shot glass. I don't know. Now, if you're still here, I applaud you with all I got, but technically you might have wasted your time. Why? Because I don't really make money off of you watching the sponsor section of this video. I make the money by you using the affiliate code to buy the product. And I get it. If you don't have a personal interest in this product, no one really likes getting pushed sponsored content in their face. However, I think these boxes could make great gifts for friends and family that wants to experience Japan at the comfort of their own home. And listen, trying to do content creation full time, it's pretty hard. But sponsorships like this along the way definitely does help. And you don't have to use the affiliate code. But if you're generous enough and you'd like to support me trying to do this full time, I would truly appreciate it if you would use the pinned comment affiliate code KAKA for five dollars off the first purchase now on to the anime reaction finally a shonen show where the representation of the main characters are just boomers not a boomer right but bro is like in his 30s he's kind of like old and he's kind of giving him all his dreams but it's like no don't give up on your dreams we had that you know defiant young kohai that saved us too i like that kid. he's great there seems to be y'all are just typing yaoi yaoi this gushing over him it's like no 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 focus on the main girl the main story seems to be about a story of two kids right back in the day the monsters like ravaged their hometown so they had the promise of let's like be the top monster slayers or something but now she's gone to the very top she seems to be like the main captain or at least it seems like she's one of the most important figures in the monster hunting whatever group they are and we are just cleaning up shit dookie and then he kind of like logically justified in his head about how this is an important job and i'm not saying it isn't but he's kind of lying to himself because he gave up on his dreams and he's running away and then our little kohai shows up and says like come on now Get your, get your shit together. And since the age limit has been increased to like 32 or something, and I think he is 32 now, this is our final and last time to apply. I hope this episode is about the entrance exam arc. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Found you, he said, right? But like, 
I was asking this question last episode. It's like, okay, this is a pretty cool story about not giving up your dreams and trying, you know, your best to get back up. But he just kind of gets bailed out here and just turns into a kaiju for some reason. Is it just complete random luck? Or is it more deeper than that? Because the bug says, found you. As in Kafka was specifically targeted. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so cool now though. More flashback. She's bullying us. She's bullying us for being chuny. <laughs> now don't worry, your mom and her mom and then the whole neighborhood's gonna die soon anyways. Don't worry about that. Yeah, if we're together. If we're together. But we're not together anymore. She saw Kafka. But like, I'm not sure if she recognized him or not. But then again, she said, like, liar, right? The fact that you've given up on your dreams, you're not beside me anymore. So maybe that look at Kafka was either she didn't recognize or she saw him, was disappointed and just, like, didn't acknowledge. Because, like, she had a cat die before when she was a kid. But now the cat is a big white tiger. Okay. The kaiju who defeats kaiju. Okay, okay. So Kafka's gonna pop off today, maybe? We're not gonna get right into the, uh... The collection exam mark or something. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. This is his grandpa. Bald. <laughs> but don't worry. He's a good kaiju, I think. <laughs> Rest in peace, grandpa. Dude, he's so strong. Holy shit. Bro has no idea how strong he is. Simple little tap on that did all that. Even like the the sound, right? Listen to him talk. Ever since he got monsterized, I like this new like bass boost in his voice. It's like a monster talking. Careful! Oh, he's so fucking strong! The fuck? He's gonna be kawaii. Oh, I'm so cute. Bro, you're a fucking kaiju. Where the fuck did you jump to? Oh, fuck. Dude, this is hilarious because he doesn't even know how strong he is. He's just like doing whatever the fuck he wants. So like, why is this show called Kaiju 8? Because obviously, this is the eighth kaiju. But weren't there multiple kaiju showing up? It's not like there's only eight kaijus in the world. So like, maybe there's like different categories. Is he supposed to be Kaiju 8? And this is no spoilers, no spoilers, right? But it's like, is he Kaiju 8? Is there a Kaiju 9? Whoa, 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 is there, what's the other 7 Kaijus? Hmm. Oh, he's a Kaiju, bro. The bug went gawk gawk. But the bug also said, I found you. <laughs> what are you doing right now? This is him? This is him. This is his actual form? What the fuck is this? What is, what, what's going on, bro? Oh, it's eating a bird. What the fuck? It's even censoring the bird. What the fuck? What? You, oh, oh, okay. So like within him, there's like extra monsters and he can just like seal it back. Oh, cool. You're the trouble, bro. <laughs> Why did the voice change when you said I got a pee? <laughs> so like, wait. How does he pee now? Does he have a kaiju dick? Because like everything about him changed. This is not his like exoskeleton suit. He, his entire being changed. So does he have like a kaiju dick? <laughs> kaiju number two. Like, how does that work? Do it. Take a piss right now. What happened? I'm interested in this. So like, 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 exactly. Where would you piss from? Like, this seems like an outer exoskeleton suit. So is it just like the same thing of pissing or... Is he wearing like a bodysuit and we're basically pissing inside of it? Or is an external hatch going to fucking open with the kaiju dick? He pisses out his nipples? You know what? That's kind of ingenious. It's kind of utility. It's, it's ridiculous. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Beyond the pissing of the nipples. What about a mama kaiju? Like a female kaiju. And like, what if the mama kaiju is trying to like breastfeed their child kaiju? But the breastfeed, it's a piss. 
So, 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 where is the breast milk? So, does the baby then, like, instead of sucking the nipples, does the baby then suck out? Let's not finish that sentence. I'm sure you can kind of imagine what I'm talking about. How does he have sex? The nipples are his dick? So, if he were to ejaculate, would it also come? I, I have so many questions right now. Not enough answers. I don't know. How does he take a shit? Because like if, if, if the nipples are his dick, how does he take a shit? Because like the, the imagine them exactly. Imagine if he pukes out this shit. It's a <laughs> that's so gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no, you tell me. Well, maybe it's gonna be like an attack on Titan kind of thing. Where it's like, you know, the main character is like a Titan, but then they eventually are scared of him in the beginning, but they, they want to study him and stuff. You've become the thing that you were trying to hunt and protect people against from. Like, she might straight up try to kill him now. Where is the direction of the story going? What the episode title is called a kaiju that kills other kaijus or something like that. Oh, oh, spidey senses. On the ground. Is that the other small kaiju that they were talking about? No, it's another kaiju on top of that. Okay, two separate kaiju attacks are happening, but there's also a third kaiju they don't really know about. From last episode at the end, when he saved us. Uh oh, I hear a little kid. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna get her out? You're too weak, girl! I'm so mean to kids. Uh oh. Uh oh. The fuck? Uh, Kafka! The girl! Defense force! Somebody! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Did we know he's strong, but... Bro is a walking catastrophe. Everything he touches just fucking gets blown up. Yo, maybe we can save the mom if we can lift the fucking things. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm a good monster. I'm a good kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to stop making the faces. He's just fucking terrible. He killed the old man at the hospital. And now he almost killed the fucking child, bro. The mom's about to die, so I think he's like, all right, kid. You want to meet your mom up in heaven? Could you at least lift the fucking shelf or something? The mom is still crushed beneath. Oh, God, thank you. Okay! She lives! Damn, it took a punch and it's still back. So, like, maybe this thing, we're, we're gonna be able to fight against it, and while fighting it, the defense force will arrive, and they'll witness Kafka in kaiju form fighting another kaiju, and they'll be like, this is interesting, I've never seen this before, and then they'll give him a chance or something? How is this gonna work out? Or maybe they just show up and start shooting at both of us. Kill him. Punch him. Normal punch. 100%. The soundtrack! The soundtrack! Oh, it actually blew up! Yo, you're so fucking strong! Every attack, it's like a lightning strike! Shit! Now we gotta, who's gonna clean this shit up? Us. Raining blood. Wait, this is terrible. This is fucking terrible. Because I just said, hey, maybe if the defense force shows up and they witness us fighting against it, they're gonna support us. But when the defense force shows up, we're the only one fucking here! We're- <laughs> Holy shit, that was cool though. Okay, bro, we gotta run. We gotta fucking run. The defense force is coming. Senpai, yoini. <laughs> More <laughs> trauma to the kid. <laughs> this poor girl, dude. No, you know what? No, no, no. Fuck that kid. 
poor kid in my ass. No one is thinking about Kafka. How do you think Kafka feels right now, huh? You think he asked for this shit? You think he wants to be everyone to be terrified of him? You think he wants to piss out his fucking nipples? <laughs> it's kind of everyone's just taking everybody's fucking traumatized, bro. How does he poop? <laughs> <laughs> the kid's just still crying. <laughs> he, that was pretty heroic, but no one even sees him as a hero. Oh, wait! Come, buddy! Oh, stop it. Oh. Oh. Little kid, Arigato Riz. Let's go! Let's go! Whoa! That's them in the future, maybe! This is actually beautiful. Bro just had an entire fucking schizo moment. While like it's so critical, the mom was in critical situation, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Bro was just fucking having a schizo moment. It was beautiful though. Alright, let's get out of here before the defense force shows up. Yeah, this is dangerous. Oh, 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 oh. So it is like an exoskeleton suit. I thought he just like changed entirely. I don't know. This is basically how he detransitions into the human form. So, like, how the fuck did the nipple start pissing? Because a dick. Is... How? Maybe the suit connects to his dick, but he takes a piss, and then somehow the suit recirculates that all the way up to his nipple, and then takes it. I'm trying to just understand this. Okay, this is very important to the plot. I just, I just. How does he shit then? How does he shit? We gotta see that too. All kaiju's piss out their nipples. Oh, it's her again. That is kind of crazy, right? What could have possibly killed? It's not, it's not even regular bullets, right? Think about it. To them, they have weapons to shoot. But we just fucking did a lightning uppercut and just disintegrated the entire thing. So what kind of being could possibly do this? So they're going to get even more sus now. That the crime scene is just like nothing they've ever seen before. Kid, I swear to God, if you snitch, if you're gonna snitch, at least say a good kaiju helped me, right? At least say, good kaiju saved us. Okay. Kaiju. Kaiju wa watashi ga zenmetsu saseru. Hontoni? Oh, but not all kaiju, because she might like Kafka kaiju. But she's gonna say. There's one good guy? Ah! Plot twist. Good kaijus exist? Awkward transition. Kaiju number eight! Yo! Title drop! This is the eighth kaiju that the defense force has given a code name Witness comp Composite. Meaning, this is the drawing of what they believe Kafka looked like, right? So the witnesses kind of gave a rough idea of what Kafka could look like. And now the defense force has given this kaiju a code name. Eighth kaiju. Implying that he's the most recent one. So there's seven other kaijus that may be alive or dead. And they only give code names to them if they are significant. Yeah? Like, not every kaiju gets a code name, right? <laughs> yeah, I wonder where he is. <laughs> Ichikawa is <laughs> Baldi fucking sniz. That's what the, the Baldi... When he says smile, right? I bet the, the drawing, the composite was based off of what Baldi fucking thought, bro. Wait, he's 103? Male eyewitness 103! Gramps is fucking holding off for dear life. Holy shit, he out... He, he's the limit? <laughs> Three month time skip. Yo, look! Gramps is getting an entire fucking TV tour as the witness, bro. Let's fucking go, Gramps, bro. Okay, three month time skip. Invitations. Selection exam. Entrance exam. Yeah! We are pleased to inform you that you have passed the first round of the recently concluded anti kaiju defense force selection test. We didn't, I guess, I guess we didn't really see the first round, but it's, I guess it's not important.
Hmm? He passed. He peaked. He passed. Imagine, imagine Kafka failed. Ah, he's gonna make it in. How the fuck are you eating lunch on top of that kaiju, bro? <laughs> Wait, I thought he wasn't his regular human form here. Why? Oh, so I guess he still does eat, you know, regular food through his mouth. That's good to know. Why? What? What, 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 I, I am confused about these modes. Can he like do partial transformation? Oh, your teeth. Now his hands are even back to normal. <laughs> Look at Gramps. Alright, good, good. Surprised we haven't slipped up yet. I mean, he's fucking just showing his monster form in broad public. But the next rounds are the more important things, right? Mm. Are you sure? Like, I, the, the, can he really pass the test in his human form? Because like his kaiju transformation is where all the power comes from. Depends on how the test is, like, you know, moderated, but it's like, how the fuck is this gonna work? Officers. Alright, bro. This is gonna be interesting. Like, like maybe Ichikawa's entire role is to, like, divert the attention away from Kafka so that Kafka can transform and beat the monster immediately and then transform him back. And it's like, oh, look, everything's been resolved. Like, other than that, like, they're gonna start to notice. There's no fucking shot. He can just turn and then just do his thing during the exam. Partial transformations could be interesting, yeah. Yo, I bet so many people sign up for the Defense Force just because she is the poster girl. I bet there's so many fucking simps for her. Like, the admin, the, the, the uh, acceptance, not the acceptance rate, the application rate is just skyrocketing here since she's been, like, the poster girl. Probably the same shit happens with, like, you know, solo leveling and the hunters. And whenever they put Chahin's face in the magazine covers. Rivals? What the fuck is Ichikawa gonna do? What powers does he have? He has, like, courage. He was brave. He did smack the shit out of that monster last episode and saved us. But I don't- besides that, he seems pretty average so far. We'll have to see later. Like, like, like that. I'm surprised this isn't fucking pulling his leg off, because you saw how, like, simply gently tapping on that wall just destroyed the entire fucking thing. Bro, straight up. Oh! Can he control his transformations? <laughs> what the fuck? He... You can just do that? So he has full control over the power. Alright, 10 days later. 10 days later. Exam, exam, exam. These entrance exams are always so fun in any kind of shonen shows. That's a detailed parking animation, bro. Nice park. これがボエタイタチカオキチ。HQ。Or other people will be dead in seconds. This guy seems kind of important, right? This guy also? This is always fun in the beginning. Oji-san? Oji-san teba. Who the fuck's talking to us? You talking shit? Who the fuck is this Ojo sama looking ass girl? She even got a fucking butler in the back. I think I remember her from the trailer. I think she was pretty cracked in the trailer. So blonde, twin tail, not really lolly, but tsundere girl, okay? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> 32 is not that old, right? Like, what would you consider an old man? I think it's all relative, right? If you're like 18, 32 probably seems kind of crazy. If you're like 26, 28, I bet 32 doesn't seem that far off. Maybe like 40 is like the hard cutoff. 45? 45? Maybe we're just gonna keep pushing the boundaries. You know how people say like the 30s is the new 20s? And then people say, no, actually the 40s is the new 30s. We're just gonna keep pushing it. 
Yeah, the OG son is the 103 year old male eyewitness, bro. That motherfucker is an OG son. What is this kid, bro? <laughs> you got so many empty parking spaces, bitch! <laughs> lucky number. So she's like superstitious. My lucky number. Is she into horoscopes and shit like that? She's superstitious. <laughs> Yo, Kafka, transform. Transform and kill this kid. <laughs> Oni son, not OG son. This young man. Oh shit. Wait, wait. What do you mean you're gonna move it yourself? Wait, wait. What the fuck? I thought this is gonna be fan service for a second. Is this some kind of power suit? Wait, do the other. Doesn't this. Wait, don't the other girls use it too? So, like the defense force, they all have like a uniform. Is this the same shit? The suit. What? 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 Oh, okay. So this is how they compete with the kaiju. Chill. Don't destroy. <laughs> It's a company car. We're not going to be working there in this anyway. 2016 entrance. Shinomiya Kikoru. Shinomiya. Oh, Kaguya-sama. Okay, she's from the Shinomiya family. Okay. Your hobby? So she's not even in the defense force and she's been hunting kaiju as a kid? How old is she? What is it? Elite family? What? You can smell kaijus? He is kind of a kaiju. Wait, there's some people that can smell kaijus? And that's the episode, kaiju number eight. Why is it called kaiju eight? Well, it's because he is the eighth kaiju that actually has given a code name, which means not every kaiju gets a code name, only the really, really busted motherfuckers gets a code name, I guess. Or is it because he got... Oh, Away? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what criteria needs to be met to become, you know, a code name. But we are Kaiju number eight. Bro, his powers are fucking insane, bro. His powers are so ridiculous. If he touches a wall, it just fucking crumbles. And there's so many funny moments where he tries to make like a funny new expression with a smiling. It just comes off like, oh my fucking God, bro. One of the coolest things about his powers is not the fact that he fucking pisses out his nipples. But every time he attacks, right? He it's, it's, it's like the, the lightning, right? It's, it's, it's like this is his own power suit. Because like the Shinomiya girl, you know, she was like glowing red when she was powering up. His own thing, when he went all, you know, all in, the I love the electric like lightning, you know, this animation here. It's just so thunderous, literally. It's so fucking cool. And he did say this is, you know, full power. I wonder if this is actually 100% of his power. He just fully disintegrated the monster. And like when the other defense force shows up to the crime scene and they witness this, what kind of fucking being could have possibly done this kind of damage? Because so far, you know, if you want to beat a kaiju, what do you do? You shoot guns, you have weapons, there's going to be cuts. At least there's going to be some remnants of the corpse. But bro literally scattered this entire thing and just guts around. So obviously people are like, holy shit, this kaiju number eight must be ridiculous. She did say, protect the good kaiju. So maybe she's going to keep it in mind for whenever that happens, right? And then the rest of it is pretty much just entering this next arc, which is going to be the selection exam arc or the entrance exam arc. Shinomiya. Kikuro or something? Pretty hype. I was like, all right, who the fuck is this cocky kid? We need to correct her, but she's kind of legit. Apparently, she hunts kaiju as a hobby, and she seems like a rich Ojo-sama girl. Not because she only has a butler, but because Ichikawa was like Shinomiya. He seemed to be aware of that last name, so it must be like an elite family here. She can also apparently smell a kaiju. I don't know what that means. But like you can kind of tell that Kafka may be Kaiju. So that's going to be kind of interesting for the future. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.